So I am currently loading up for a, uh, a little powder test. Uh, I've had some problems with this barrel. It wants to continually speed up and I've been chasing it. And uh, so I am going to take a drastic jump down. I was up in the mid 49 grain range, which is normally not a problem. Uh, but I'm running about 40 feet per second faster than normal, which is not great and definitely not where I want to be. And so what I am doing is I'm going all the way down to 48 grains and running a tenth of a grain test up. So I'll be shooting these either later tonight or tomorrow, depending on my mood. And we will see if I can get this back down into my node, which should be a little over 2,800 feet per second. They've been shooting really good in the mid 2800s, like 2840. Um, but that doesn't mean it's where it is really wanting to be. And I know that sounds weird because I can show you test targets from today. In fact, you might have watched another video I just put out that showed a tuner test I did. And using the last powder charge that I was using, I was getting three quarter uh, minute or less vertical. Uh, well, I should say less than three quarters of an inch vertical at 300 yards, which is really good. And, um, you know, normally you wouldn't complain about it, but there's just something nagging me. And after talking to a friend of mine, uh, you know, I just, I need to get it back where I know it wants to shoot. And that's just something you kind of figure out with your guns. So... Anyway, uh, I'm getting this loaded up, like I said, uh, probably about another hour or so. And then I may just run out to the range tonight. My range is open till nine o'clock and maybe save myself having to go out tomorrow. Or I might go do the powder test tonight and then do a quick seating depth test just to kind of re-verify it now that it's been four or 500 rounds uh, since I'm taking this step. Sometimes I'll take that extra step and it's only about an extra 40 rounds that I'm putting through it. So anyway, uh, I am really excited about how this gun is shooting no matter, you know, what it's doing. Um, on Tuesday nights, it's been keeping me in the, in the hunt, but I really just am trying to kind of eke out that last bit of accuracy from it. So, uh, we'll see what happens with it. I will definitely let you guys know. Okay. Well, we're out here. We're going to do our powder test. So I've got my labrador set up and what I do is I'm recording this information, but to make it easier for input, I'm actually going to um, write it all down here. So uh, as we shoot, I'll be recording everything that uh, comes out of it. And I am just shooting at steel right now. So uh, there's no, you know, like uh, no target or anything. I'm just shooting into a pit with a piece of steel because all I care about is the velocities. So we're starting at 48. I'm just going to do some blow-offs first and get the gun warmed up. And you may or may not be able to hear the ding of the, uh, the steel that I'm hitting out there. Move my mic real quick. Okay, sorry about that. All right, let me get another one or two shots down the barrel, and we'll start up. Start up our test here. So that's five. All right, so here goes six. All right, so let's start this over. We're gonna start a new detail. All right. All right, 
So uh, I'll show you as I'm writing here what I'm doing, but we're going to be shooting the 33 shots starting at 48 greens here. settling down a little bit. And all I'm doing with this is trying to find a known velocity that I'm looking for, which right here appears to be in that range. I'll do about half of them and then I'll let it cool for a minute. take a quick break. Okay. Okay, here we go. Starting the second half here. So these are definitely speeding up now. It's a free recoil gun. Yeah, it's called free recoil. So we are definitely speeding up here. Twenty-eight thirty range now, which I know is higher than I want to be, but it's also causing some erraticness, which I would sort of expect. Plus, it's getting a little hot. So we've only got seven left to go here. This 
may actually lead to another flat spot. Let's see here. This is right at 49. And these are shooting pretty close to where I was shooting last week. So at least those speeds are matching up. All right. I'll have to pull that one down. I missed it. All right, here's one just for fun. All right, that's it. So let's go back and see what it looks like. And this is what the results look like. We have powder charge down the left, shots one, two, and three, and then our averages. Uh, based on my previous uh, data uh, for when I first broke in the barrel around 200, 300 rounds, and did uh, all of my load development, I know that the barrel wants to shoot just over 2,800 feet per second. So my goal with this test was to figure out uh, what my powder charge needed to be now to get me back to that node. So you can see 48.1 and 48.2 had me right over 2,800. So that is what I decided to load up. I loaded up 48.1, I did a uh, seating depth test and then validated that test. Here's the results of the final validation with two different seating depths, and we can take a look at that now. And here are the final results of my seating depth test. Now this was just a blow off shot here, and um, those weren't part of anything. But you can see uh, using the measurement on my accuracy one gauge, I have two different seating depths that were my final two that I was kind of doing a validation test on. Uh, 0.765 and then 0.745. The vertical on 745 was, was, you know, just over three quarters of an inch, just under an inch, however you want to call it. Uh, again, keep in mind, this is all at 300 yards. So this is just under an inch at 300 yards of vertical. Uh, but this one really shined. So the 765 was just over half an inch of vertical at 300 yards, which is like a sixth of a minute. So that's really what I'm liking. That's what I'm going to try loading up for my uh, mini match on Tuesday. And if all goes well, that's what I will load up for my bigger match on Saturday. Uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon.